Today we're gonna take a look at Storyboard and Animatic, which is a Blender add-on made to create traditional storyboards and modern animatics. It creates a series of 3D planes with corresponding camera for each one and a storyboard camera that gives miniature view of all the panels. It also allows you to create a text page for each camera, which can be used to write information related to each panel of the storyboard, like in-camera action instructions and dialogue. The add-on was designed initially for animations made with Blender's Grease Pencil, but it can be used for other animation work. Note that each of the cameras is attached to the timeline markers to change the view of each storyboard panel over time, which allows timing for an animatic when viewed through each camera and allows the grease pencil drawings to be exhibited all at once for a storyboard view. Each shot is linked in a code to a camera, which is bound to a marker on the timeline. This allows either the camera or the panel to be animated for a shot that uses the camera panning or zooming. When the timeline is playing, Blender will switch the active camera when it reaches a marker with a camera bound to it. And each camera is an orthographic type to allow layering of objects without getting perspective problems. So the main point of this add-on is that more than one grease pencil drawing can be made and animated at the same time. And since when you draw at a different time, grease pencil drawing will make a new keyframe automatically. And all drawings for each keyboard panel will be done at the same frame. This add-on is designed to work using Blender with very few modifications when it comes to how it operates. And the developers have added a lot of features that allow for faster workflow when creating storyboard and animatic, like some functionalities that allow you to load a series of images onto panels, save different storyboard views, create 3D text objects, filter the analyst list of the cameras in the scene, in addition to having the ability to easily change the active view to any camera in the scene and a lot more. Furthermore, it has features that made this add-on even easier to use in addition to being more useful, like storyboard panels that will be dynamically created in a grid, also creating and setting up cameras for each board, an overview camera to view all the storyboard panels at once, in addition to creating grease pencil objects with materials and layers to start drawing and a lot more. Still, we are expecting more of this add-on as the developers stated that there will be more updates and they are promising more features to ease up the workflow and make it even better. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below to let us know what you think. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.